So we are here at uh, one of the demo uh, that belongs to the enterprise boot. What we are showing here is Nokia expertise in the domain of our different enterprise customer. So the first one, the first use case is about uh, flare monitoring, uh, where in the industry of oil and gas, the color, let's say, to simplify the color of the flare, is linked to the quality, uh, to the efficiency of the uh, drilling process itself and how the gas is extracted. So uh, we are showing here some sensors, an HD camera or even uh, full HD camera that are, let's say, implemented across the, um, uh, the plant and that are connected to a certain connectivity here through an uh, uh, AI edge. The camera uh, is allowing to provide good quality image to the AI and the AI is able to analyze that, yes, uh, in that case, the color has changed. There is an issue with the, with the, with the oil and gas process and there are liquid droplets, for example, inserted, uh, so that there is an alarm. And, and the idea here, of course, it's not only about the oil and gas, but it's to demonstrate and to show that the scenario that we just saw will simply not work in case of uh, not premium connectivity or not efficient connectivity. And what we are offering here in Nokia uh, is an end-to-end -end connectivity that might offer the uh, proper uh, transmission IPMPLS network from the different uh, uh, endpoints, drones, IoTs, cameras, through a wireless access or through a fiber access, then being somehow aggregated around the plant. We have in Nokia at each step the right product that can connect uh, uh, even legacy uh, uh, systems. The second use case is same, and to have some visuals showing some sensors related to um, uh, corrosion detection in that case. Uh, also a camera, everything is managed by this uh, uh, big brother related to the, uh, uh, using the, the AI that will, at a certain point of time, because the image that is transmitted is arriving at the right time, with the right place, with the right latency, with the right quality, so that the application can detect that there is some uh, liquid that appears. I need to uh, trigger an alarm and I need to do something. So it's all about also having a, a correct and proper connectivity that will allow the transmission at the right time with the right uh, 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 quality of the camera feeds to be analyzed by the AI, and without this kind of structure, uh, the entire use case might not, not simply work. And the last one is about um, surveillance use case, where uh, we are having sensor, temperature sensor, CCTV. The use case is uh, uh, saying that the temperature is normal, but despite of that, uh, the AI is able through the camera to detect uh, at a certain point of time that there is a small fire appearing, so there's some abnormality from the sensor itself. But because of the AI, we are able to detect a small fire. We are able to uh, raise an alarm and we are able to say something is wrong. And if there is any latency, any something not working properly, this is what might happen uh, if the uh, communication between the AI and the rest of the sensors is not uh, properly done, is not offered with such premium connectivity.